Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, appears to be a communications module. Good, good. A uh, probe launching system. Good. A couple ion engines. That's nice. Uh, diametrically opposed mainsail engines. That's nice. A big sticky outy thing. Sure, why not? A big, very big glowy thing. I guess to supply power to those solar cells there. That's good. I've never even seen an arm like this. That's interesting, but uh, uh, where's the parachutes? I don't see any parachutes on this space station. This will not do at all. Now, you may notice that my luxuriant silky voice is coming to you clearer than ever now. This is because today I'm using a real microphone. I'm borrowing my friend's computer because my... My computer, it couldn't handle the raw awesomeness that is the International YouTuber Space Station. I couldn't do it, Captain. I don't have the power. I turned Scotty German there at the end. That's not good. But this is my safety net. It's a set of engines at the front here that should be able to take the station out of orbit, maybe. And a set of parachutes here that will hopefully be able to bring the pair the space station down to the ground level with the minimum of breaking things. I don't expect this to work, but I expect the residents of the space station to ex to believe me when I tell them that it works. So, in the end of the day, what more do you want? Let's see if this thing will fly. And we... Oh, there, yes. Um, yes. One moment, please. Trying that again. Engines up, SAS on, and launch. Oh, that is more stable. That's good. Okay, after quite a bit of wrangling, I managed to get this thing into orbit, and I realized I forgot to check where the space station was going to be when I got here. So the space station is way over there, I'm way over here, and that's a problem. Uh, this is going to be a very long rendezvous sequence. I am sorry. All right, I'm now within uh, within physics range of the IYSS, and I can tell. I'm getting a 12 frames per second right now, and that's with the with the with the lags bane turned all the way up. So it's stimulating the physics a lot slower. I think. Okay, I'm looking at the clock. I, I seem to be doing about two seconds to every one second real time. So it's taking two seconds to simulate every second of game, and that's a mess. This is going to be a long approach. But on the plus side, I can already see uh, Scott Manley's uh, hazardous experiments thing over there, and I think that's where a lot of the frame rate drop is coming from. Uh, yes. Okay, I'm not really sure how well I aimed this, but I think I might have gotten myself lined up for... for docking now. Uh, sorry if I'm a bit Shatner right now, but docking tends to make my brain do a lot of stuff, and so does talking, so I'd rather dock than talk. I missed. Shoot. Okay, this time I'm sure I have it. Going in for the kill. Get in there. Come on. Uh... Come on, please, do this for me. Yes? Yes? It's trying. It's trying to dock. And yes, I got that docked. Okay. Um, now this station is even more engorged on weird things that do stupid other things. Uh, but I'm going to leave this now. I'm going to step slowly away and hope... It doesn't just fall off because reasons. And, oh, look, uh, the welcoming committee is terrified. Come on, my docking isn't that bad. Wait, how many do I have in here? Uh, okay, Neldorf, one, two, three. Uh, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Eight Kerbals in this thing. Ah, ah, ah. So in order to uh, illustrate how this, um, how this parachute module will function, hopefully, 
I've loaded up a simulation of the of the International YouTuber Space Station. I will note that while uh, orienting myself for this deorbiting burn, uh, a bit of this uh, docking arm thingamajig, a bit of that fell off. So that's over there now. Um, I'll call that a design flaw, and I'll pass that off to whoever built that docking arm. Not my fault, it's theirs. But yeah, let's see how good this deorbiting goes. Begin the throttle up. Nothing happens. Because the engines aren't on. The engines should be on. Let's activate engine. Activate engine. Activate that one too. And for good measure, let's turn on this fourth one. Let's see what this can do. Burn now. Okay, this is going to be a long burn. I broke it. Oh, shoot. I broke the space station. I tried to use uh, Danny's uh, mass, um, 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 mass driver thing to help this go a bit faster, and that happened. Shoot. Okay, I found the bit of it that's supposed to be me, so I'm going to try and land this bit. That should be interesting, shouldn't it? Let's see if we can't get this spin sorted out. Well, at least this should go faster with a smaller space station to deorbit, so let's try that again. Throttling up. And how are we doing? What's our orbit doing? Our orbit's going down quite nicely this time. That's good. That's uh, It's going down much faster. That's uh, That makes me happy. Uh, when it hits 40, I think I'll turn it off. And there's 40. Did it turn off? Yes, the engine's turned off. Now we're going to leave this cloud of debris that was caused by some uh, foolish individual. I, I, I don't want to name names, but I think it was Julian. Uh, yeah. I'll see you when we hit the atmosphere. Okay, now we are in the atmosphere. We're about to begin burning up. Well, hopefully not burning up. We're about to begin not burning up in such a way as to re-enter safely, I think. Oh, that's a neat shot there. Nice framing. Uh, let's pretend that that symbolizes flying onward into a bright, sunny future, not flying into a hot, fiery death, shall we? These solar panels are being surprisingly resilient. Oh, there they go, there they go, that looks cool. Yay. There goes all that debris. Hopefully it won't come back to hit us when the parachutes deploy and we slow down and it does not. Also, a really bad day for anyone living down there. I had to get hit by several hundred shards of broken glass from 20 kilometers up. That would be sad. I would not be happy if that happened to me. Are these parachutes? Oh, these parachutes are not activated. Why are they not activated? They should be... Uh, well, the good news is we're... Uh, shoot. The uh, probe body just uh, yanked off from the other thing and is falling free. Um, yeah. Well, I guess it's good that we didn't bring the whole thing along. We didn't bring the whole space station down with us. Because, well, at least my reentry module can save itself. That's pretty much all it's got going for it, though, at the moment. Let's just bring it all the way down. And, uh, let's cut that parachute. And uh, that one. And why did that explode? No, seriously, why? I, I did not say that that could explode. I It did not have my permission to do that. Shameful. Shameful thing. And now I, oh, that must have been my uh, 
my probe body. Now I can't control the rest of the parachutes. I guess I just got bored with this and decided to leave. Almost touched down now. There we are. Ain't that marvelous?